Well, the laws, the laws, the law must take its course because um, when those things are happening, uh, when Domino Man when was doing all that she did to dehumanize, to kill other human beings, enslave, etc. He did not, I don't know whether he realized he himself was a human being. Because if you are a human being, how would you wish <laughs> that to others? Uh, he had many excuses that he was taken as a child and so forth and subjected to do those activities. Me, I don't have any legal I don't have serious legal legal background, but uh, my view is that uh, for those acts he did, other human beings should not be made that he gets out scot-free. Because otherwise it will encourage other wrongdoers to do the same. That the other day so-and-so was acquitted or given a light sentence, so others will think I'll kill as many people as I can, tomorrow I'll get out free. And, and, and that's my worry, the decision that is going to be made. Is it going to make it, uh, make doing those kind of activities, Domino Nguyen did, punitive, and uh, things that people know the consequences would be bad on them. If whatever the legal conclusion that they'll make in this case must evaluate the the impact of that their decision on the society on us all and society because uh, excuses can be found for for those wrongdoings but then the decision made should not encourage it to again happen for others to do the same. But my, my worry about this on one case is that even if he was supposed to be acquitted, where will he live? Because the families of those victims will not be comfortable seeing on when is caught free <laughs> amidst all the atrocities he has done on on their relatives or you know, even on themselves. I don't know. Uh, me, I would wish that as a result of the judgment, it should not be able to encourage such acts to again reoccur. That's what my conclusion would be. They should not make a judgment that will later encourage those acts to reoccur. No. I will not accept that.